welcome to A Guide to Every Deck in Modern. Today we're looking at Neobrand. Neobrand is the most glass cannon of combo decks, seeking to win as fast as possible while ignoring interaction. It's extremely powerful and capable of winning as early as turn 2 or even turn 1. The combo breaks down like this. Free cast Allosaurus Rider by exiling two green cards from your hand. From there, use either Neoform or Eldritch Evolution to sacrifice Rider and grab Gristlebrand. Use Gristlebrand to draw as many cards as needed, refilling your life total with Nourishing Shoal or Children of Corlys. Eventually, you'll draw multiple Mox Ambers and a Springleaf Drum. If you have no mana, you'll need at least 3 Ambers. Cast and activate 3 Ambers for black mana with Gristlebrand. Use 1 to cast Springleaf Drum and tap Gristlebrand for blue. Use the 3 mana to cast Laboratory Maniac, then activate Gristlebrand to win. An alternate method is to use Thrasta Tempest's Roar, gain a bunch of life with Nourishing Shoal, then pump it with Fortifying Draught for lethal damage. Previous versions of the deck played a way to discard like Thoughtseize and discarded Borborygmos Enraged, then reanimated it with Gorio's Vengeance. This is no longer viable due to the extremely low land count and bannings of Faithless Looting and Simeon Spirit Guide. Chancellor of the Tangle is a means to generate more early mana while being fodder for Nourishing Shoal and Allosaurus Rider. Similarly, Turn Timber Symbiosis is a land that also acts as Shoal and Rider fodder. Summoner's Pack can find Allosaurus Rider to start the combo or a big green creature for Shoal. Additional Riders and other big green cards are also Shoal fodder. Aside from that, the deck plays a few cantrips to help find the combo and Pack of Negation to protect it since you'll win the same turn you combo and so don't have to worry about paying for it. Sideboarding and how to beat it. There's a famous saying I'll paraphrase, with great power comes great fragility. Neobrand is a very fast and powerful deck, but as a consequence, it's inconsistent and fragile. The deck requires Allosaurus Rider, two green cards to exile to it, and either Neoform or Evolution and the mana to cast it. It easily loses to counterspells, discard effects, and numerous other things. Anti-Storm cards open a window to killing Allosaurus Rider before it can be sacrificed and prevent using any of the cards drawn by Gristlebrand on the same turn. Instant Speed Removal can kill Gristlebrand before you can use Mox Amber. Stony Silence effects shut off Amber and Springleaf Drum. Anti-Life Gain cards can stop you from using Shoal or Children of Corlys to draw enough cards with Gristlebrand. Anti-Search effects blank Neoform and Evolution. And Anti-Free Cast cards can nullify Shoal. Neobrand is all in and can't switch to any sort of backup plan. Thus, the sideboard is tailored to fighting the hate. Pact of Negation is an all-purpose answer. Wilt fights artifacts and enchantments. Leyline of Sanctity shuts off discard spells. Veil of Summer does the same and stops counter spells. Most of the cards in the deck are included for the combo, so you can only shave them rather than cutting anything entirely, and you can't cut anything integral to the combo. Lastly, you can brick on the combo if Laboratory Maniac is in the bottom 6 cards of your deck and thus can't be drawn by Gristlebrand without losing since he only draws in increments of 7. However, if you have enough mana, you can free cast another Allosaurus Rider and sacrifice it to evolution to find Labman. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Neobrand. I want to thank my fellow players in the Magic community for whom sharing their experiences helps make these guides possible. You can find additional resources, such as an up-to-date deck list, in the description. If you think I left out anything important or got something wrong, please leave your thoughts in the comments, and stay tuned to see what deck we look at next time.